Hey, this is Russ. Welcome back to the MacDex video blog. I have taken a little time off, but if you want to know why, you can go back and read my regular blog. Went to Disneyland, took the iPhone, had a great time. Anyway, I wanted to get back to it and talk a little bit about running today and specifically about headphones. And I wanted to talk about the headphones that I've used and what I really prefer. Funny as it sounds, I actually was surprised at the headphones I prefer to run with. So let me talk to you a little about each one and what I thought the pros and cons were. Okay, the first ones I wanted to talk about were actually these. And these are just the standard headphones that came with my iPhone or with an iPod. And they were my second choice. Um, I thought they were going to be my first choice after running for the first little bit. They seem to fit in my ears well. But the thing I really liked the few times that I've ran out in public is that they didn't close off the sound completely and so I still could hear things at least at the peripheral of my hearing and so if a car was coming or if there was a dog barking or something I could still hear that and I felt a little more comfortable actually being able to hear that now again I'm not going to really talk much about sound quality because frankly once I'm running I'm really not all that concerned about the quality as much as I am being distracted or getting feedback from the Nike gear so the actual Apple headphones were my second favorite now these headphones actually are the type that are the in-ear earphones and there's a whole bunch of companies out there making them. Um, anywhere from Skull Candy to these ones that are made by a company called Maximo. I really do like these headphones for normal use and normal hearing. But for running they really caused me a problem. First they did completely cut off the sound so I would never really want to run with them out in public. But second is something that I thought was really strange. When I would run, and especially near the end of my run when I'm sweating like a dog, sweat would run into my ears and it would clog the sound and I couldn't hear out of the headphones. I'd pull them out and I would try to clear the water out of my ears, but it just wasn't working. So by the end of my run, I really couldn't hear anything anymore. So I really didn't like the in-ear headphone style. Okay, I have to admit, this last set of headphones I wasn't sure I even wanted to try. Every time I looked at them, I kept thinking of those guys from the 70s and 80s on roller skates who looked like bugs. And I was really reluctant to even try these. But I'm really glad that I did because these ended up being my favorite set of running headphones. Not because they completely let me hear things like the Apple ones did, but because they totally eliminated the problem with sweat running into my ears. This pair actually fits really well on my noggin as well, and they were ideal for running on the treadmill. Running out in public, it was okay, but I still kept worrying that I was looking like a bug man. And remember, you don't have to be common.